Hello, hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing today? Surprise, teacher. Surprise. <laughs> For the class. Oh, somebody <laughs> told me you missed, you missed the class and everything that you want to continue learning. And I say, okay, that's fine. Let's do it. Uh, right? It's so good. Oh, it's so yes. good. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate on the effort to be online for this day. I know it's not the normal, it's not the regular day, but thank you so much, people, for joining for today's session i really appreciate that i see some people and i just want to know how your day was so let me get started i don't know me what can you tell me about your day how was your day um it's so very good um and i am surprised with the class and and i'm so very happy for the other things to my life uh, was happening today okay. i'm so happy thank you teacher, for asking okay. Oh, perfect. That's really nice. I am really happy that your day, your day is good. So that's really nice. Thank you. Thank you. I see more people connected. And what about for you, Damaris Mabel? How was your day? I'm fine, teacher. Perfect. What did you do? What can you tell us? I don't understand. No problem. No problem. What did you do? Vamos a ver. ¿Qué nos puede compartir de su día? ¿Qué hizo este día? Eh, pues eh, cociné. I cook. I cook. Ajá. Eh, I clean. Clean. Ajá. Eh, I, eh, ¿Cómo se puede decir? Eh, cuide a mis hijos porque todavía están enfermos. I took care of my children. I took I care. Took, I took care of my children. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Let me see on more people. What about for you, Jamie? Jamie Rosibel, how was your day? My day is... So, so. So, so. Oh, really? What did you do today? Tell me or tell us about it. Um, um work. Mm -hmm. Um... No sé cómo se dice, recibí una regañada de mi jefa. Oh, my goodness. You can say, my boss scolded me. My boss my scolded boss me. My is, boss is scolded me. Oh, really? Oh, so bad, so bad. I hope. Uh, do you work tomorrow? Trabaja mañana, Jamie? I, no. No. <laughs> no. Y no. Suficiente de, de lunes a viernes, quizás. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I hope on Monday, le, le preguntaba porque esperaba ¿verdad? que ya después la siguiente, eh, su siguiente día de trabajo is better, right? Probably on Monday. Tal vez el lunes ya todo mejor y ya todo regular y no problem. But thank you so much for telling us. What about for you? Hey, Gustavo, what happened to you? Are, are you ready with the microphone? ¿Ya estamos listos con el micrófono, Gustavo? Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much. How are you today? How is it going? ¿Cómo estamos? Uh, very good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right, I see a good group of people. Thank you so much and welcome everybody for today's class. As I mentioned before, I really appreciate the effort you do to be here in today's session. Let me check on attendance as always. And as you know, that is part of what we do. We check on attendance. Let's see, Alberto Enrique. Present. <clears throat> Perfect, thank you. Ana Noemi. Present teacher. Excellent. Brian Isaac. Present. 
Nice one. Thank you, Carlos Fernando. Present. Perfect, perfect. Eh, Carlos Heriberto. Present teacher. Great, thank you, thank you. Carlos Manuel. Carlos Manuel, probably not at this moment. I continue. Cesar Alejandro. Cesar Alejandro, not yet, probably. Claudia Lisset. Claudia Lisset, probably not available yet. Eh, Christian Gerardo. Present. Right, thank you, Christian. Then I continue with Damaris Mabel. Present, teacher, present. Excellent, thank you. Elian Heriberto. Present, teacher. Nice, nice. Uh, Stephanie Giselle. <coughs> Stephanie Giselle, not available yet. Uh, Fatima Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Gabriela Eunice. Present, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see, I have Herson Antonio. Herson Antonio, probably not yet. Ingrid Jamilet. Present. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. I have the next Jose Samuel. Jose Samuel, probably not available yet. Maria de Los Angeles. María de Los Ángeles, no la veis la bolet. Eh, Marcos Javier. Marcos Javier, no yet. I continue. María Magdalena. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Then I have Marvin Raimundo. Marvin, Marvin, not yet. I continue with Oscar Armando. Oscar Armando. Ah, oh, thank you. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, Gustavo Garcia. Present. One. And then Jan C. Sarai. Present. Excellent. Thank you. Jamie Rosibel. Present, teacher. Nice one. And Jennifer Yesenia. Jennifer Yesenia, probably not yet. All right. No problem. Thank you so much, people, for the ones who confirmed your, your attendance and your presence to this class. Let's get started on today's session. As for this week, you know, we're coming to a closure about the section number three from our platform. And today we have the last practice about this section that goes by the name, you can't miss it, right? That is the information, you can't miss it. That's what we have for today. And in specific, today we're going to pay attention to some info about compound nouns and also about giving directions. If you remember yesterday, we were practicing on some information related to that. Let me see in this one. I will be asking on some specific people. Christian, can you tell me one, only one, one instruction that you remember to give directions? Only one, only one expression. Wake up. Uh, but to go to a place? Walk up, probably? Uh, go up. Uh, go up, all right, thank you, go up, perfect. What other do you remember, Mr. Carlos Hernandez? Uh, turn left, turn right. Turn left, thank you, thank you, thank you. Turn left, turn right, that's excellent. Jancy Sarai, do you remember any other expression? <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Let me ask on more people. Let me see on Fatima Elizabeth. What other expression do you remember?
Fatima, probably not ready. Brian, do you remember any other expression? Uh, take a second, a second left, take a second right. Oh, all right. Take the second left, take the second right. That's excellent. Any other that you remember? Let me see on Anna Noemi. Do you remember any other expression? Um, <coughs> probably <laughs> la misma escuché, pero sí, la que más me acuerdo sería turn left, turn right, mm -hmm. follow up. Mm -hmm. eh, take the second left. Uh -huh, take the second left. Uh -huh. the second right. Eh, go mm -hmm. past, go straight ahead. Go past, exactly, right? Go past and go straight ahead. If we con las, uh, prepositions between next to across from mm -hmm. on the corner, uh, mm -hmm. the follow the traffic lights. Mm -hmm. That's part. correct. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very complete answer. In this case, we can give instructions and finally to just to give the specific location about the place, we can incorporate prepositions just to give a reference about the place the person is asking for. We have turn left, turn right, take the second left, take the second right. And tell me, what is the meaning of go straight ahead? ¿Qué dijimos que significaba go straight ahead? Siga recto. Siga recto. Okay, siga derecho, siga recto. That's correct. Go straight ahead. And what about the expression go past? What's the meaning of that? Of that? Pasar de largo un lugar. Pasar. O mencionar un lugar. Como pasar por un lugar y continuar, eh, continuar de largo. That's correct. Right? We give a point of reference. For example, go, go past the hospital, go past the church. Right? Que pase de la iglesia o pase de, del, del parque o el hospital. Cualquier punto de referencia. Recuérdese que ahí no es el destino final, sino la persona pues continúa. Y pues luego le, le agregamos una nueva instrucción para que la persona sepa hacia dónde se dirige o hacia dónde pues eh, tiene que dirigirse para llegar al destino. That's nice. As for today, we have some practice and I have some illustrations about compound nouns. And let's see on this one. What's the characteristic of compound nouns? This is that it's usually uh, formed by having two words. Two words in combination. That's the idea. For example, let's see on the one that I have over here on the top right corner. I have one word that is divided in two. I can say book and I'm, I'm talking about an object, right? That is one noun. And I can mention the other store that is the place where you can buy different products. In this case, I am making use of two words to make only one. That's why they are compound nouns. Ve que los nombres eh, compuestos no son tal vez tan complicados, pero se forman utilizando dos palabras que por su lado cada una puede tener su significado. ¿Okay? Como book que yo les mencionaba, pues usted sabe qué significa book y hace referencia a un artículo. Store hace referencia a un lugar y cada una tiene su significado, incluso si las ocupamos individual. Pero acá, en los compound nouns, vamos a utilizar generalmente dos palabras en combinación para hacer, hacer referencia a un lugar y, o tal vez ser un poco más específicos a qué tipo de tienda o a qué tipo de lugar estamos haciendo referencia. Si yo le digo un store, es algo muy general, ¿verdad? bien general, donde usted sabe que puede comprar eh, algo, pero no sabemos qué. En este caso, pues tenemos bookstore. Something uh, relevant in this one when you talk about compound nouns is that we, they have an emphasis, right? One word is like more emphasized than the other. In this case, for the example, and as in many or all of them, the first one is going to have more emphasis than the other word, right? In that case, you say bookstore, book, right? More emphasis for book. You don't say bookstore, uh -uh. not the same, bookstore, uh -uh. bookstore. The first word goes with more emphasis. Note que ahí, como se componen de dos palabras, en este caso, siempre, 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 la primera palabra, eh, toda la primera palabra, 
va a llevar un poquitito más de énfasis. Eso quiere decir un poquitito más que nuestra voz se eleva un poquito. No gritado, ¿verdad? No es que bookstore, right? Not like that, right? Pero lleva leve, leve énfasis. Bookstore, right? Bookstore. No ponemos al final que digamos que usted me diga bookstore, ¿verdad? Porque el store no va con énfasis, sino que el inicio. Y así sucesivamente con estos nombres. Uh, this one that are compound nouns. Now, tell me people. Take, let's begin on the practice. Uh, how do you say this one? ¿verdad? Comenzando con la primera. ¿Cómo diríamos en este caso este compound noun? Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Remember that uh, there is something called uh, linking sounds. And in that case, we can make a combination. Let's say like a combination, or we are putting two sounds into one. And in this case, it is possible to do the practice like that. Remember in this one, we can join the sounds. That means that we don't have to make a stop when we express this idea. For example, we don't say gas station. You say gas station gas station, just one sound. Ve que ahí existe la, lo que se denomina en inglés unión de sonidos. En este caso, cuando tenemos ese tipo de, eh, ese tipo de, de característica, resulta que vamos a hacer un, una fusión de los sonidos. No es que lo vamos a eliminar, sino que lo vamos a poner, eh, lo vamos a hacer como en combinación. Y se ve el caso acá que como tenemos el mismo sonido, tanto al final de la primera palabra y a la segunda palabra, vamos a alargar simplemente el sonido sin hacer ninguna pausa. Gas station, ¿verdad? Ahí el, el última, yo la alargo un poquitito más y continúo con la siguiente palabra sin hacer ninguna división. Listen to this one and then repeat after me, right? Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Thank you, thank you. Let's do it one more time, one more time. Listen and repeat after me. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go over the next one. Let me, let me have at uh, this moment, let's see. All right, tell me, how do you say this word? Supermarket. Mm -hmm. Supermarket. 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 All right. Thank you. Remember the first part goes with the emphasis, right? Supermarket. Supermarket. What about on the next one? Double check on this one. How do you say this? Restaurant. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And that's correct. You say restroom. That's fine. Restroom. Thank you. Thank you. Restroom. Thank you. Take a look at the picture below, right? On the left on the lower left corner. Right. What place is that? Vea la imagen acá que tenemos a la izquierda en la parte inferior izquierda. What place is that? What about this one? This Big cafeteria. Uh-huh. And how do, you, how do you say it? A coffee store? The coffee the shop. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Let's see. In this one, we may say coffee shop, right? Coffee shop. Listen and repeat coffee after shop. me, please. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's fine. Now, uh, sometimes uh, we have information about uh, a cafe, right? That is uh, what we have. But in this case, it is possible to also have uh, that word like 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 cafe, and that is like a board win of the language, right? Vea que en este caso también en algunos en algunas situaciones las personas le dicen café, verdad? Como que fuera la palabra en este caso en español, verdad? No es que sea una equivocación, sino que también se puede utilizar eh, para expresar un lugar donde usted pues eh, puede eh, Obtener café, ¿verdad? ir a tomar café, no problem. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. Let's have, let's continue with the next one. Take a look at the next picture in the center, lower part on the center. What place is that? 
Post, post office. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. Listener, repeat after me, please. Post office. Post office. Remember the first one? Thank you. Remember the first word goes with a little bit of more emphasis, right? Post office. Post office. Post office. Mm -hmm. Post office. And it ha in something similar to the linking sounds happens in this one, right? Post toe, right? Similar to this one in this part with the linking sounds. It is not necessary to make a stop, right? Not necessary to say post office, right? Post office. Post office. Post office. Check on that one. Vea que ahí no igualmente ocurre la unión de sonidos en este caso. Y no es necesario hacer una pausa. Todos esa, de, todo este tipo de práctica y este tipo de, de eh, forma de expresar el idioma nos ayuda también a nosotros a sonar más natural, right? more natural in the language, and also to gain fluency because we don't stop too much when we express ideas, right? Listen to me, post up, right? Post up is post up. Vea que ahí post yo no hago ninguna pausa, ¿no? sino que pareciera que como que era post up, right? Algo así, similar. Post office, right? Post office. Listen and repeat after me, please. Post office. Post, post, post office. office. Post office. Exactly, post, post office. office. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And what about on the last place? Tell me, what place is this? Hospital. The hospital. Hospital? Drugstore. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, thank you. It could be possible, right? Like a small clinic or a representation of a hospital. But in this one, just for practice. Bloom. Mm -hmm. It's possible, right? Just to continue with the practice of compound nouns, we can say drugstore, drugstore. Remember drug the store. emphasis goes in the first part, right? Nada más por cuestión de práctica es válido. Pudiera ser que la imagen haga referencia a un hospital, a una clínica, pudiera ser. Pero acá, para continuar con la práctica de los compound nouns, vamos a utilizar en este caso eh, una palabra que pues obviamente está compuesta de dos. Drugstore. Listen and repeat after me. Drugstore. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have a drugstore, perfect. Now, let's go for a quick practice to incorporate compound nouns at this moment. Tell me, I will ask you about the different places in your city, right? For example, in my city, uh, we have a, a gas station, we have a a coffee shop in the in the mall. We have a post office uh, in Santana's downtown. We have I have a drugstore in not not in front, but on the on the main street. Right, there is a a drugstore on the main street, and near my house we don't have restroom. Right, because restrooms make reference to something that is public. Right public restroom. And near my house, I don't have a supermarket, right? No supermarket for me near my house. I have to travel if I need to go to the supermarket. Now tell me, let me ask on some people about this. What can you tell me about your city, Carlos Hernandez? What's there in your city? What do you have near your house? Uh, there is city hall. Mm -hmm. Is valid? City yeah, hall? yeah, yeah, city hall, yeah. Uh, there is a drugstore, uh, but not near me. Mm -hmm. And there is a, uh, I can't remember, <laughs> um, supermarket in the, in the, in in town in mm -hmm. uh, cent, cent, in central mm -hmm. uh, nearby uh, church cathedral church mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know more <laughs> but that's fine thank you that's a really good description about your the places that are around your city thank you so much let me ask on more for people to participate.
What can you tell me, Marvin, Marvin, Marvin? What places are there near your house, right? You can say if there is, or you can say I have, or we have, no problem in that part. Uh, in my city, we have a drugstore, mm -hmm. we have a supermarket, mm -hmm. we have a park, we have a restaurant, oh, um, etc. <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. What about uh, near your house, Mr. Let me see, Mr. Oscar Armando, what can you tell us? In my country, mm -hmm. there are this station, supermarket, a coffee shop, post office, and rural store. All right, all right, thank you so much. And finally, on this one, let me ask on Jennifer Chesenia, are you ready for practice, miss? Okay. Um... Near my house are um, hospital, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. supermarket, mm -hmm. drugstore, um, gas station. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, that's fine, 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 perfect. And I appreciate on your collaboration to that. Now, after checking on this one, and just for the people who incorporated, we're working on compound nouns. And I was mentioning that the first part has more emphasis, right? Gas station, supermarket, restroom, coffee shop, post office, drugstore. The first part has more emphasis when we make reference to these different places. Now, to continue with more practice on this one, let me change on this. We make reference to something you are familiar with, and that is the map from yesterday. There are different places, right? And we continue with the same streets and avenues, first, second avenue, third avenue, fourth avenue, Pine Street, and Cross Street. At this moment, we will begin with the practice, so you have enough time to work on this one. And I will explain what we do. I will share, uh, this is the information that I shared with you yesterday, if I am not incorrect. We are going to begin on a practice like this. So we incorporate all the elements for this week's, uh, for all the, the elements we practice on this week. We begin like this, excuse me, where can I get? And you are going to make reference to a product, right? For example, where can I get the other end? Where can I get pills? Where can I get shoes? Where can I get a car? Where can I get a where can I get a cell phone? You mention a product, right? Because you are new in town. That's the idea. You are new in town and you want to know where you can obtain some products. The person uh, who you talk to is going to answer something like this. You can get a cell phone at Imagine we go for a cell phone. You can get a cell phone at, a, at, at, the, at the mall, right? To give you an example, right? You can get a cell, phone, a cell phone at the mall. After you receive the information, because you are new in town, you need to ask for directions to the place. For that reason, you can say, oh, and how do I get there, right? And in that case, the other person will respond, giving instruction, walk up on Main Avenue, turn left, turn right, go past, you know, all the reference that we know. And then you give instructions on how to get to a place. That is the practice we are going to do. I will encourage you to create a short conversation, right? You alternate, right? You alternate in practice. And at the end, when we return to the main room, I will have some people be, perform the conversation eh, for the complete class. So prepare, try to create something nice, try to incorporate uh, the structure, the vocabulary for this week, and let's do a nice job, all right? Vamos a trabajar en, en pareja. Creo que los números nos alcanzan. Tal vez hay un grupo de tres. Ya vamos a ver cómo podemos trabajar de esa forma. Pero eh, vamos a estar trabajando en pareja y usted pues va a practicar e igualmente después. Eh, después que practiquen así, tal vez un tanto uh, 
no al improvisado, sino que espontáneo, ¿verdad? Porque ya tenemos el modelo, sino que va a ser un tanto espontáneo. Usted practique con su compañero eh, y cuando regresemos a la sala principal, voy a escoger a ciertas personas para que realicen su conversación acá con todo, ¿verdad? En conjunto, en toda la clase. Pero sigamos el modelo que tenemos en pantalla. Usted eh, saluda a la persona como, excuse me, si usted quiere agregarle un good morning, un good evening, good afternoon, no hay problema. Excuse me, where can I get? ¿verdad? Le importa a usted averiguar dónde puede obtener o comprar un producto. Y usted es nuevo en la ciudad. Eso es, es parte de la persona con la línea amarilla. La otra persona pues le reporta. Usted puede tener o puede comprar. También dicho sería el, el verbo get. ¿verdad? Usted puede comprar o puede obtener este producto en tal lugar. Usted le da una referencia. Oh, and how do I get there? Como recuérdense que la persona que preguntó por el producto es nueva en la ciudad o nueva en la ciudad. Por eso le va a preguntar que cómo llega a ese lugar. Y después usted le va a dar instrucciones de cómo llegar. How do we do it? Right? Vea que el mapa que teníamos, tal vez podemos prescindir de él si usted gusta. Y puede hacerlo un tanto allegado a la realidad de su ciudad. Imagínese que la persona con quien usted está hablando es nueva en su lugar, en su ciudad. Si usted vive en San Salvador, si usted vive en San Miguel, en Santa Ana, en Sonate, donde usted viva, usted escucha a su compañero que le diga dónde y usted déle una referencia real de dónde pudiera comprar ese producto en su ciudad. ¿Okay? Puede ir a la tienda, a la tienda de Don, de don Chema. Ah, ¿Y dónde está eso? Ay, mira, tienes que caminar aquí, aquí, tal y tal y tal. Y usted le dice, ok, no hay problema. Pero usted como vive en la ciudad, obviamente en su colonia o en su ciudad, usted sabe bien dónde están los lugares y cómo llegar a, a ellos. ¿verdad? Imagínense un punto de inicio. ¿verdad? Imagínense que están en el parque central, por darles un ejemplo. O sea, en algún lado y a partir de ahí, pues usted le da instrucciones de cómo llegar al lugar eh, donde va a comprar el producto que a la persona le interesa. Any question about this practice? Preguntas de cómo vamos a realizar la práctica? No, sí, sí, sí. Mm -hmm. Perfect. What about on the rest? Any question? Eh, Se puede dar dando la nomenclatura de, de, de más o menos donde uno vive, en colonia o, o como una ciudad o lo que sea. Sí, es correcto, es correcto. En este caso, Oscar, imaginémonos que yo quiero comprar algo y ahora yo soy nuevo, usted me va a dar la referencia de su ciudad. ¿verdad? Usted imagínese que está obviamente en su ciudad, porque ahí usted es el experto y se conoce las calles, se conoce dónde puedo comprar el producto y usted me va a ayudar también a dirigirme hacia, hacia dicho destino. Entonces ahí la persona va a tratar la referencia eh, acerca de su ciudad. Si yo le preguntara, Oscar, where can I get Tortillas. Imagina que yo quiero comprar tortillas. Ay, usted ya se puede las tortillerías. ¿va? In, in, in that case, he gave it a reference. Ahí, exactly. Tortillas en supermarket. En el supermarket. Sí, que es exclusiva esa ciudad. Está el supermarket. Aquí en todas las esquinas tengo tortillería. But that's excellent. Thank you. That's fine. Va, imagínese, usted me dice el supermarket y es correcto. Entonces, mi segunda pregunta sería, ¿y cómo llego a ese lugar? ¿verdad? Porque yo soy nuevo. Y usted ya me dice, ah, ya, yeah, turn left, go, go right, go. Y usted me da la instrucción. Ok, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. That is what we will do at this moment. Recuérdese, quien va a proveer la información de dónde comprar el producto, también va a decir cómo llegar al, al destino. Y usted lo, pues, lo asocia con su ciudad o su colonia y para que la persona se pueda ubicar. Let's begin at this moment. And I will be checking on you to help you if that is necessary. Thank you so much. We will have approximately 10 to 15 minutes. Pero vamos a tener un, aproximadamente unos 10, 15 minutos para poder practicar lo suficiente. Tomen roles y después se quedan con una conversación. Entonces dejemos ya algo fijo. ¿Quién va a preguntar? ¿Quién va a responder? Porque luego lo vamos a hacer en la sala principal cuando regresemos. Let's begin. And thank you so much, people, for the time in the practice. And let's do a nice job.
Hello, excuse me. Hello, excuse me. Where can I get a uh, sugar? Uh, you can get sugar at the at the supermarket. Oh, and how do you I get to there? Uh, walk up on on drugstore. Turn left and go past go past the the bar between between city hall and barbershop thanks for your help you're welcome you yeah, pretty well pretty well thank you thank you so much are you ready for with a conversation just to do it for the class ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Estamos listos y ya cuando regresemos a la sala para hacer una práctica con toda la clase? Sí, yes. sí teacher. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. I will check on one more group and after that, after that we we'll return to the main room to practice, ¿ok? Vamos a tener okay. una... ¿Pueden practicar una última vez? Cheque un último grupo y luego venimos a la sala principal. Thank you. Ok, thank you. Okay, teacher. Yo preguntaba, ¿verdad? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, where can I get uh, some snacks or soda? Snacks and soda. Oh, um, you can get snacks and soda at the, uh, let me see, in Center Park. Oh, and how do I get there? Okay, uh, you have you have to walk for about five minutes, go straight, and when you see the, the first traffic light, you have to turn left, and you're going to see the city hall. In front of the city hall, uh, there is a central central park, and you're going to see uh, a drink store, mm -hmm. and you're gonna get the the snacks and, and soda. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Okay, it's it's my turn. Yeah. Excuse me. Where can I get um, chicken and fries and french fries? You can get chicken and french fries at the supermarket. Oh, and uh, how do I get to there? Okay, you are in the in the in the center in mm -hmm. the town. Okay. Okay. You take Main Street, uh -huh. go straight ahead for like, I don't know, 10 minutes. I go past the church, go past uh, the market and go to the left and you get supermarket. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Perfect, perfect. Congratulations. You are doing really well. Nice, 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 nice. 
I guess Thank you're you. ready for the general practice. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're doing great, great, great. All right. All right. At this moment, people, we return to the main room. Thank you so much for the time in the practice. Thank you. We, we, we hear good, right? Yeah, that's hear... perfect. Yeah, oh, okay. everything was okay, right? Correct question, correct <laughs> instructions. I don't know the place, so I believe your instructions, right? <laughs> 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 Ahí sí no, no, no sé, ¿verdad? Si oye convincente la dirección, como no conozco la zona, puede hacer que sí, que voy a confiar que estamos bien. <laughs> but, but the sentence in English, it's perfect, right? That, that's no, no problem with that. Well done. Thank you, thank you. We'll thank return you. to the main room. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Ingrid. All right, all right. Welcome everybody for the main room again. Thank you so much. I know you were doing a really nice job. And at this moment, as a proof of that, let's work together on a practice. Remember, you were uh, practicing some information spontaneously, but at this moment, we would love to listen to you. And let's begin with group number one. That is Alberto, eh, Brian, and Carlos Fernando. Eh, habían tres personas, no sé si los tres pudieron sí, sí. participar y nos sí, eh, pero practicaron. Démosle, démosle, hagamos. Vaya. Vamos. Este, ¿Con quién iba? <ríe> uh, with Brian and Carlos. Ah, bueno. Este, Carlos, excuse me. Este, where can I get money? You can get money at Bank Agricola. Oh. And how do I get to there? Go string hill in the Avenue Roosevelt. Uh, go pass. Go pass. Uh, Mama Gallina. Um, I go from Place Chaparrasique. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Now I just have one question. What can I get at Mama Gallina? Ya me entró la curiosidad. Yo creo que a todo ve que podemos comprar ahí en la Mama Gallina. Tell us. Es un restaurante de, de comida como de sopa, de gallina y así. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. So that's really nice, right? So you, if you want 100%, to... 100%, 100% migueleño, ¿eh? Sí. Oh. Oh, sí. perfect, 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 perfect. All right, thank you, thank you. That's nice. Ah, pues ya se identificaron, ¿vale? ¿Dónde son, vaya? Bien, yeah, excelente. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice, that's nice. And good job in the practice. Let's go for group number two. That is Jose Samuel and Eliane Riverto. We listen to you, people. Excuse me, Eliane Riverto. Where can I get the... Smartwatch. You can get a smartwatch at electronic store. Oh, and how do I get there? The electronic store is on the Pierce Avenue. Well, up on the Pine Street. For, I don't know. Take the second left, go past the bank. Thank you your, for your help. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well done, well done. I go with group number three at this moment. That is Christian and Gustavo. Okay. Uh, excuse me, Ulysses, where can I get a uh, good book? Uh, you can get a, a good book uh, bookstore. 
Oh, and how do I get there? In bookstore in front in front of head head is high school on the on the May screen. Thank you. Ahora right. teacher. No, just only one. Just only one time. Ah. That's okay. okay. Just just remember as a feedback on that one, you know, the bookstore is, right? Creo que nos hizo falta por ahí cuando mencionamos la información de la ubicación. The bookstore is. Nos hizo falta el verbo to be. Así que pendiente de ese dato, ¿verdad? Y de ahí okay. las preposiciones que ameriten, ¿ok? But thank you okay. so much. Thank you. Next group, that is number five. Ana Noemi and Claudia Lisette. We listen to you, ladies. Okay, thank you. Uh, excuse me, Miss. Uh, where, where can I get uh, shoes? You can get shoes at shoes store Jacqueline. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how do I get there? Uh, welcome the Claro store, go back in front to library. Okay, thank you for your help. All right, thank you. Just remember in this one for the preposition, we say in front of, right? No, in front to. Ve ahí la preposición que en lugar de to, in front of, I stand. In front of, thank you. Thank you so much. Well done. Then the next uh, group is Damaris Mabel and Jamie Rosibel. We listen to you, ladies. Okay, teacher. Uh, Jamie. Bye. Uh, excuse me. Good, good, good night. Where can I get aspirin? You can get aspirin at doctor. Oh, and I am um, how do I get to there? Mm -hmm. Um, go straight ahead the Pine Street. Mm -hmm. Este, the bus, the traffic light in the corner of the Second Avenue and um, Pine Street. All right, all right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pretty well, right? Pretty well on instructions. And finally, okay. the last group is for. Ingrid, Fatima, and Carlos Heriberto. We listen to you. Les escuchamos, por favor. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Hey. Uh. Hello, Ingrid. <laughs> Hello. How are you? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> thank you. Okay, I'm going to start. Excuse me, Ingrid. Where can I get uh, hamburgers? You can get hamburgers in restaurants like Wendy's or McDonald's. Oh, and how do I get to there? You take the main street, go straight ahead for like 20 minutes, turn left in 6th Avenue, Go past the church, go past Central Park, and you get it. Okay, thank you, Ingrid. Take care. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, Heriberto, take notes because that's a very complex idea, right? I, I'm lost, right? A mí desde la primera instrucción ya me perdí para donde era, but that's fine, right? So you take notes on that. Right? But that's excellent. But good job. Good job on uh, the instructions. That's pretty nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Perfect, people. After that, I guess all of you already participated. So I just want to congratulate you on your effort and you're doing pretty nice. Just as a general feedback, uh, not is on something that I guess I just made a change. I guess it was my bad. Creo que yo había puesto mal una instrucción. Y ahí quiero quizás hacer énfasis en eso. En la segunda pregunta, how do I get there, ¿verdad? Porque creo que es, aparecía how do I get to 
there. Entonces eliminamos el to. El to lo utilizamos cuando hacemos referencia a un lugar. ¿verdad? Yo tenía la práctica de cierta forma, pero la modifiqué para evitar tanta repetición. Porque si, si la persona me reportaba, you can get hamburgers at Wendy's. Oh, and how do I get to Wendy's? Es como bien repetitivo. Entonces, en ese caso, sí tendría que decir yo, how do I get to Wendy's? Pero yo le cambié, ¿verdad? Porque eh, cuando veamos que tenemos una conversación bastante espontánea, eh, se dará cuenta de que eh, no hay mucha repetición, ¿verdad? Es bien práctico el idioma. Entonces, como, al final es cómo llegó ahí, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que estamos eh, expresando en la segunda pregunta en, amar en amarillito. Entonces, nada más eliminamos el to. How do I get there? ¿verdad? Así nos quedaría la pregunta, nada más quería socializarles eso, que creo que fue mi error, y, y para que no lo repliquemos, ¿verdad? Entonces eliminamos el tú. Nos quedaría, how do I get there? That should be the correct expression in that part. Mm -hmm. But in the rest, thank you so much. Thank you so much, people. You did pretty well on expressing ideas and giving directions. Thank you, thank you. Just before we finish, uh, let me go over the attendance. And don't forget about the message uh, my coworker shared with you about completing the platform. Creo que la mayoría ya ha cumplido con la plataforma, excepto dos personas que mi compañera les solicitó su colaboración. Así que igualmente, ustedes ya saben quiénes son. Les pido su colaboración para que finalicen la sección 3 y tomen su examen de medio curso este día, ¿verdad? Como último día de la semana para poder eh, completar nuestro progreso. Y los demás, muchas gracias por atender el llamado a cumplir con la, su plataforma y les invito a que sigamos progresando para eh, la siguiente semana, el lunes, pues reunirnos y tener conocimiento de la estructura y ponerlo en práctica en la sesión. Let's go over the attendance. Alberto Enrique. Present. Thank you. Ana Noemi. Present, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Brian Isaac. Present. Thank you, Carlos Fernando. Present. Thank you, Carlos Heriberto. Present, teacher. Great. Uh, Carlos Manuel Ramos. Carlos Manuel, not yet. Uh, César Alejandro. Muchas gracias, tortilla de las que me calentaste, hambre. Hello, hello, César. Not at this moment, probably. Claudia Lisset. Present, teacher. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Christian Gerardo. Present, teacher. Nice. Uh, Damaris Mabel. Present, teacher. Excellent. Elian Heriberto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Giselle. Stephanie, probably not at this moment. Let's see, Fatima Elizabeth, I read on your message. Thank you so much. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Por ahí leí su mensaje. Muchas gracias. Comprendo sí, la situación. Es que aún no salgo todavía. Por eso no pude participar con mi compañero. No problem. Thank you so much. But that's okay. And thank you for the effort. Gabriela Eunice. Gracias por la comprensión. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Gerson Antonio. Person, I guess not yet. Uh, Ingrid Jamilet. Present. Thank you. Jose Samuel. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Marcos Javier. Present teacher. Great. Thank you. Maria de los Angeles. Miss Maria de los Angeles. Probably, probably not yet. I continue. And Maria Magdalena. Miss Maria Magdalena, right, I continue. Mm -hmm. Marvin Raimundo. Present teacher. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias a los dos. Muchas gracias por su confirmación. Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Eh, Gustavo Garcia. Present. Perfect. Jan Cisaray. Present. Nice, nice. Thank you. Jamie Rosibel. Present teacher. Perfect. And finally, Jennifer Yesenia. Present teacher. Oh, superb. Thank you so much. All right, people. It was uh, really nice working with you on this extraordinary day. Thank you. Uh, double, right? Double thank you for the effort of being here. And today, yes, now you may enjoy your weekend. Y ahora sí, bueno, ayer les dije, pero ni modo. Ahora sí ya pueden 
disfrutar su fin de semana. I hope you have a perfect weekend. You enjoy it. You do many things and you recover energy. And let's continue on Monday with more information. People, it was an honor. Have a good night and see you next time. Thank you, teacher. Thank Bye, teacher. teacher. Bye. Bye. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you. Have a good night. Take care. Bye. See you next Monday. Yep, that's correct. See you. Take care.